Welcome back to my channel guys. It's been a good three weeks since I've uploaded a video. I just took a little break um, to focus on personal things and now I am back with this video and then it's going to be vlogmas and it's going to be a lot of video content. But if you haven't realised already or if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook then you would have seen that I have changed my hair colour. I just thought that I've been light for so long and I always had that kind of light grey hair and it was such high maintenance and it was getting to the point where my roots needed to be done and it's a lot of effort and time that I do not really have. So I decided to go a darker grey and I have come up with this and I know that a lot of you guys always ask me to show you how I dye my hair so I recorded the entire process. I did the bleaching part when I was at my parents and then when I came back down to London I coloured it myself. Um, so as you can see it's a dark grey colour and you can only see the greyness when I'm stood in front of natural daylight or some sort of lighting. In a normal indoor uh, room it kind of just looks like a dark brown or a black almost um, but when the light shines on it, it's really nice and I love it. Um, it makes my hair feel and look really glossy as well. I'm not sure if it's the hair dye I used but I did use Olaplex in this um, whole process and I also did a lot of hair treatments just because I put my hair through a lot to get this colour even though you're probably wondering why because it's pretty dark. But because it's a grey colour, um, a grey undertone is normally white so I did have to bleach my hair and I did have to achieve quite a light hair colour for it to work otherwise it would have just gone green or like a warm brown colour and that wouldn't have worked and that's not what I want. Um, I definitely feel a lot different with this hair colour. I feel, I don't know, I just feel like a completely different person. It just completely changes my look. Anyways, enough of the talking crap. I'm going to take you guys through the tutorial and um, all of the products apart from Olaplex is drugstore and um, if you're going to bleach your hair then I would highly recommend you use Olaplex. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not affiliated with them in any way or form. I just really believe that it does help um, keep the hair nice instead of looking like dry ugly hair things. Um, yeah, so I got my Olaplex on eBay but I'll explain that throughout the video. So I started by using a hair colour remover and I found this one in Superdrug and it was okay, it wasn't too pricey so I thought I would try it. I'm going to start off by removing the previous grey colour that I had on my hair. Um, I'm just going to apply it all over my hair and slowly get the colour out because I want a more even turn. I don't want to put grey on top of grey and after my hair just went back to blonde. Then it's time to bleach my roots to match the rest of my hair and I use these products which are all from the drugstore. This is the Olaplex that I was talking about. I got it on eBay for about £12 and it's just a sample size of it. So I mixed one bottle of 40% creme peroxide with one sachet of powder bleach and I also put in my Olaplex if you're not sure how much you want to put in then you can go into the Olaplex website and there's a lot of information on there of how to use it. I just mixed that all together until it was nice and even and I applied that onto my roots. So after one session of bleaching my hair went this bright orangey kind of turn which is to be expected especially with black hair. So obviously this is not light enough for grey colour so I went ahead and did the whole process again and bleached it for a second time. This time the hair came out a really pale yellow almost blonde colour and if you want to go blonde then this is the perfect colour all you have to do is buy a toner and put that on top. 
Then I went ahead and put on my colour and this is the Colour Freedom Metallic Glory and it's by Knight and Wilson. I found it in Superdrug and they do lots of different grey shades which I think is fab. Again I just mixed it all up according to instructions and applied that all over my hair. Towards the end of the developing time you can already see that it's gone pretty dark. And after I've washed and blow dried it I achieved this colour. So I hope you liked my video and I hope this was a in-depth um, and easy to understand video of how I achieved this hair colour and if you decide to go for it then definitely tag me on Instagram or Facebook or let me know that you tried it just so I know that this video actually helped one person. <laughs> if you're not subscribed already then please do because I'm going to upload a lot of content um, this December. I have so many ideas planned and of course it's Vlogmas too which I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do, whether I'm going to do it on my vlog channel, whether I'm going to do it on this main channel, whether I'm going to do it daily, whether I'm going to do it weekly, there's a lot to think about. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.